كثير من الدورات اللي دخلناها بالجامعة تقريبا ما أكو تخصص يشمل التراث ويشمل التعمق بهاي الأمور هذا الكورس أتاح لنا الفرصة أنه نتعرف على المواضيع بشكل أعمق وبشكل عملي من ناحية التوثيق من ناحية إعادة البناء وإعادة التطوير برنامج جي كروم كان بالنسبة لنا عبارة عن فرصة جديدة تشاركنا بها معلومات كثيرة بسبب الخبرات من المستشارين الدوليين اللي جو أعطونا معلومات إضافة إلى أنه الشيء اللي كنا تلقيناه بخلال التدريب إكروم كان مختلف تماما اللي خذناه بالجامعة بالجامعة كان دراستنا أنا كمهندسة مدنية كان دراستنا عبارة عن كونكريت ومباني حديثة بالنسبة للمباني القديمة والمع سينر ستركشر وغيرها نحن ما كنا نعرف عندنا أي معلومة عنها فكان هذا التدريب بالنسبة لنا عبارة عن فرصة لحتى تعرفنا شلون ندرس هاي المباني وحتى نتعامل معاها، لان يعني خصوصا بعد الحرب المنطقه القديمه تهدمت كثير، صار بها اضرار كثير كبيره، فاحنا حاليا اخذنا الخبرات اللازمه حتى نرجع تراث المدينه القديمه ورجع المباني الحضاريه كانت موجوده هناك. هو برنامج ايكرون بصوره عامه هو برنامج منتشر بكل بكل انحاء العالم، يصير بمختلف الدول، وهي فرصه كلش كبيره انه هالشكل برنامج يصير في الموصل. هي عبارة عن سلسلة من التدريبات من الخبرات عالمية والموصل فعلا بحاجة إلى هذا النوع من التدريب والخبرات حتى نساعد في إعادة إحياء المدينة القديمة كانت تجربة جدا ممتعة ومختلفة بمواضيع يعني تخصصية ما طرقنا لها بتفاصيل ما منطقية قبل بمجالنا الهندسي خصوصا انه احنا بلد عندنا كثير من التراث والابنيه التراثيه بس ما فكرنا بهالبعد اشياء ممكن نستثمر هذه المباني للمستقبل بدل من الاستعمارات التقليديه انه نستعمل هذا المبنى كمتحف او كمعلم تراثي بل انه نطور هذا المبنى التراثي بحيث نحط له فعاليه ووظيفه معينه ضمن فعاليات بحيث تساعد الناس على اعاده استخدام هذا البيت او المبنى وايضا اللي يبقون على تواصل مع تراثهم المادي وغير المادي Uh, Ekrom's uh, heritage recovery program is very unique because uh, it is for the first time that uh, architects and engineers uh, are getting trained in uh, recovery of the heritage uh, in a post-conflict situation uh, in, in the area where actually conflict happened. Uh, and therefore, one is able to really uh, use uh, this as a living lab for uh, for learning all the tools and the skills that are necessary for uh, assessing risks and also planning uh, for the recovery uh, and implementation. Uh, the main highlights of the training, uh, I would say, are uh, first of all that the training is really organized around a framework that ECRAM has developed, which uh, really starts with uh, understanding the context and learning about all the tools, such as documentation and value assessment, uh, damage and risk assessment, and then uh, systematically uh, learn uh, various methodologies to plan, implement, and monitor any recovery project uh, at the larger city level as well as at the, at the local level. Well, first of all, they learn the general principles of restoration, which are for all of us, uh, heritage specialists, the guide to approach any new intervention that basically is always a case-by-case -case, um, situation. Um, then they learned how to, uh, for example, uh, implement a topographic or architectural survey they learn how to study the historical constructed techniques. They learn how to evaluate the structural and surfaces damage and decay. And then they also learn um, how to design interventions able to um, bring the building back to its life while respecting the principles of minimum intervention, the chemical and physical compatibility of the materials and uh, the respect of criteria of authenticity and integrity. I usually always reply, no? I usually always reply. And I know how you all are young. I think that it's important to pass on what we learn. Um, I, I love old places. And I, I love the feeling of the old places, like time machines to take us into the past. And w w I work on a number of projects and I love to conserve them, but I know that my work is only going to last uh, until the end of my life. So it's important to pass on what we know to the next generation so they can continue. There's been uh, so much uh, destruction in, in Iraq, 
uh, from, from many decades of war and I hear the news and it, it distresses me to hear the news and the destruction of culture and heritage and societies. So I, I, I'm, I'm very happy to play a part in this because it's, it's the little one thing I can do. Well, I've been part of ECROM in various levels and in various projects for many, many years. Uh, I, uh, I've always been in complete agreement with the ECROM philosophy about how training is the best way to conserve cultural heritage because I can come to a place for a few weeks and if I'm just working on the stone it doesn't make much difference but if for that period of time I'm transferring knowledge and experience then those people can continue along into the future with the right approach and the right techniques so that's m the way to make a bigger difference and uh, I'm very happy to be part of that process. This is a fantastic project because it covers the city after uh, the conflict and the war, uh, the city of Mosul present a specific case study for uh, recovery heritage and buildings. The specificity of post-conflict uh, and crisis context uh, poses a lot of new challenges and very important challenges because you deal with uh, environments that have been destroyed, fragilized, uh, people dealing with, uh, have to cope with trauma and the issues of memory, uh, the issues of uh, memorialization, of peace building, of uh, uh, reconciliation have all to be taken into account and especially all this population movement, the relocation and eventually uh, for, for the population affected in the old city of Mosul especially. Uh, the problem is how to attract back the, the original inhabitants, which is, I think, a big challenge. Well, uh, implementing this project in Mosul uh, presented us with uh, different challenges. But what stands out is uh, the realization uh, that it couldn't have been accomplished uh, differently. Uh, lever uh, leveraging uh, the city's uh, built uh, heritage as case studies uh, was uh, a crucial uh, factor in the project's uh, success. Uh, the journey also uh, reinforced the understanding that heritage and people cannot uh, be separated. هذا المهنة قديمة جدا ما موجودة يعني باقي المهن لأن اشتغلنا معهم شغلات تراثية جدا قديمة وطفنا نعلم ونوصل الفكرة للأجيال الجديدة وتوصلنا الحمد لله والشكر إلى نتائج جيدة جدا وطفنا نعلمهم وصنعنا منهم حرفيين جيدين جدا وحاليا يشترون برش موجودة حاليا حدادة في باب الجسر القديم وأنا راضي عن هالشيء هذا بالدعم المنظمة والخبرة المطلوبة اللي استطعت التعلم منها فتحت ورشة خاصة بي بالحدادة وأكون جزء من عمار المدينة اللي تعرضت للدمار في الحروبات اللي تغير أكيد زيادة إدراكنا كمواطنين أولا وكمهندسين ثانيا بقيمة التراث اللي عندنا بالموصل اللي نحن ما كنا ندرك كمية الجمال وكمية الحضارة وكمية التاريخ اللي نمتلكه فمن بعد الحرب ومن بعد ما تهدمت كثير بيوت ومن بعد ما الإعلام صلت الضوء على هذه البيوت أو المساجد أو أو يعني أيا كانت من الأبنية يعني قمنا تعرفنا على أزيد على هذا تراثنا على هاي ومن بعد ما تعمقنا خلال دورة دورة إكروم تفاصيل الشغل الدقيقة والأعمال اليدوية أكيد زاد حبنا زاد وعينا حول التراث وحول أهميته وبنفس الوقت إنه إحنا لازم نهتم بهذا التراث كونه هو راح ينتقل للأجيال القادمة. The participants are very smart and eager to learn, very bright young people, and I can I can compare because I have 
worked with capacity building, other capacity building programs for Iraqis. And, and this, this one is special because it's longer and we have more time to interact and learn about the participants and their, their skills and, and uh, their talents. And we can cater to their talents in this longer period. And so they're really bright, the participants, and they're really eager to learn. They really, they also, they really care about their heritage. They really do. Uh, and I think their motivation increased as the course uh, developed. Uh, so I think um, they are genuinely interested now in, in heritage, and I hope uh, most of them, they will have a chance to work in this field. I think what's important to know is that um, uh, this program, the initiative to revive this field of Mosul, has always been really about the people of Mosul, not so much about rebuilding uh, different infrastructure or churches or mosques or minaret, um, th those are elements of uh, tangible reconstruction. But what we wanted is particularly to reconstruct the spirit of a city, give an opportunity to people, uh, bring back uh, uh, the economy also of a city through uh, culture and heritage. So it has always been a part of that. Um, I think that what we have achieved with ICOM, uh, with the training we're doing with them, uh, it's by training either people in architecture and engineers or people also in arts and crafts. It's a really uh, rich level of quality in, in the training of, uh, of uh, young people uh, in, uh, in Mosul that is uh, particularly important for us. Well, I think that, that youth must play a role in every society. And uh, uh, when I arrived in Mosul in 2019, the destruction was so big. Uh, the years passed before were so negative and full of uh, you know, a black horror that the only thing we could think is to give an opportunity to young people, boys and girls, uh, um, to, to actually start a new life, start thinking differently. Uh, heritage and culture uh, and the arts, they give an opportunity to people to think differently, uh, to build themselves up. And uh, I'm very happy that in the course of these years, not only we train people, but we also employ them and give them an opportunity to grow professionally. I think that's a very important part of the program. طبعا نحن كنا امس الحاجه لهذا النوع من الكورسات اللي تختص بترميم التراث نحن للاسف مواضيع الجامعه الاكاديميه ما تناولت كثير هذا النوع من من المواضيع من ترميم التراث وتدعيمه والحفاظ عليه نشكر الدولة الامارات العربيه المتحده على هذا الدعم السخي والتمويل لهذا المشروع وهذا الكورس خاصه انه الموصل بعد خروجها من تحت سيطره داعش كانت بمس الحاجة لهذا النوع من الدعم إن كان بشكل عام على مستوى المدينة وبشكل خاص على الأبنية التراثية والحفاظ عليها بعد, بعد إكمال الكورس ساحت لي فرصة للالتحاق بأحد مشاريع اليونسكو أبدأ أحد مشاريع اللي تحت إشراف اليونسكو وهو طبعا جامع النور الكبير أنا سعيد جدا بالعمل مع المهندسين اليونسكو على إعادة أعمار الجامع ليبقى الأجيال القادمة I really enjoy uh, seeing their satisfaction after completing a task um, and, and, and they see that they can learn and then apply it. Uh, one highlight is the formation of this nonprofit and uh, other highlights have been when some of the participants have graduated and gone on to work for UNESCO or for contractors and you meet them later, you form relationships, you meet them later and they can relate their experiences and, and they can give you feedback that it did help. The, the main challenge is to work engineers with architects together and to have this uh, continuous uh, vision about the restoration of historic buildings. By uh, uh, preparing engineers to uh, deal with such uh, problems because this is really a challenge to uh, know how to restore such uh, important buildings, not in uh, structure, but in social and economic aspects. Uh, for me, the first thing to say, each building is a one case study uh, specific. The second one is to learn by the experience. Each experience is very important. And the third one, to suggest more than one solution for such problems. The, the whole course was uh, very exciting on, on my side, from my point of view. 
But uh, I think, uh, of course, the, having a case study was a brilliant idea. So to prepare a project from A to Z and to cover all the aspects of recovery in one building. And we also uh, did the, the city scale, especially in this uh, second cycle. And uh, I like very much the fact that we managed to understand the context of a building and uh, also to touch upon the neighborhood scale in the analysis and the importance of the context and the relationship between a building and its surrounding context. So I think for me this was uh, an achievement and a highlight in this program. The training component has always been at the core uh, of this project since its uh, very beginning. Uh, therefore, uh, when we started our discussions with ICROM, we decided to take uh, this project as an opportunity uh, to do something innovative. So to uh, basically approach uh, the training uh, in a different way. Uh, that means to basically uh, prolong the time frame of implementation in order to uh, give the students the opportunity to be exposed to lectures and exercises with the teachers for a longer period in order to increase the effectiveness of the training itself. And at the same time, because the, the, the time frame uh, would have allowed us to do so to identify case studies for practical exercises. In fact, uh, preservation has, of course, a very strong theoretical part that you can learn through lectures, but then it's an applied art. That means uh, students should have the opportunity to apply what they have learned uh, through lectures in a practical case. It changed my perspective to the students and how to deal with them. It was very good for me, and we really need it. The UNESCO helped us to develop training programs for the teachers and the students. It changed our perspective on how to use the right tools in the right way to develop the training programs and the use of it. It changed the understanding of the problems that are present in the society. It helped the students to help the students. I think it's been just a, an amazing experience and it's been very personally fulfilling for me because I was involved soon after the Iraq war um, in training participants in, in Jordan from training participants from Iraq in Jordan and, and this program fell apart. And so it's been really a rewarding experience for me to, to finally be working here in Iraq with the participants on their own heritage. And these exercises are, are not uh, fake or they're not invented. They're real exercises on their real heritage. And it's unique heritage with the alabaster and the, the, the formats and the typology of the buildings. So it's been a really personally fulfilling and, and professionally.